He's got a slip and a short extra cover. The two close-in fielders are the field fielders ringing the 30-yard circle and the two outside the circle. Here's Sheffield. A little bit of swing, but that's uh, the umpire. Possibly a little bit harsh done by the umpire there. Late swing. Yes, very late swing indeed. It looked like uh, it was going to be a little... Driven, driven past that short extra cover and through to the extra cover boundary for four runs. This is looking pretty ominous. He's in a different groove as Shane Watson. Yes, he's a tall player, big stride forward. You can see he comes right out to it. He's picked it well. But... That's short and he hit it away past the bowler. A powerful strike by Shane Watson. Really clubbed it all along the ground. Yes, after those good deliveries for dot balls, Razak pulling it down short, coming nicely onto the bat, slow enough. For... Let's start. Up and under, up it goes, way, way, and long way over the boundary for a six. Superb strike. Yes, it. Well, that's put away. Didn't seem to connect it well enough, but still rocketed away. Just wide of the mid-wicket boundary. Four more runs. On the opposite side of the scale, releases pressure for the batsman. There he goes for the big one again. It's going all the way for maximum into the stands. Goodness gracious, that is a splendid strike from Shane Watson. He's really, really on song today. Yes, he's connected a few this afternoon, but uh, this was the best one. He really hit that off the middle of the bat. Went to low. For his uh, third over. And that's really a loose, loose delivery. And what do you get for it? A six, a flat six into the crowd, the grandstand there. And he shakes his hands, the 50 comes up. Yes, they're making it pretty easy. Short. And Watson was... Again, short and uppish and over the top once more. That is his 50 and it's coming good time. He's hit his fourth six of 26 deliveries. Wonderful inning so far by Shane Watson. Appreciated by his teammates in the dressing room. Yes, he's making it look like child's play. The Bangladesh bowlers playing into his hands, bowling them short. And it's just stopping, coming. Rather unselfishly, very quickly. And that's gone a mile. That is travelled the distance. He's such a big hitter of the ball, Watson. You've got to get it absolutely right against him. Otherwise, he'll make you pay. Disappointing that a left-arm spinner has been consistently... Providing those long hops goes deep into it and the ball goes deeper into the stands well, It's definitely a disappointing time for a large crowd that's turned up Once again an easy hit for Watson that's gone the distance Great balance massive power and the execution was brilliant Well, we did see Michael Clark enjoy a hundred Announcement as a captain of the Australian team, the emperor as they call, the vice captain. Uh, is he enjoying himself? A grand hit into the grandstand. 99 for Shane Watson. And he's uh, got passed through that uh, infield and will go to the boundary. What a way to bring up his 100. His sixth uh, one day international 100 in a fantastic time. Gets a good round of applause from his teammates and also from the crowd. Absolutely brilliant display of power hitting. Yeah, you, you just summed it all up there. Outstanding batsmanship. It wasn't as if there was one false strike. All good cricket strikes. Look at that. Nice cover drive. Foot out, meeting the ball. Bends the knee. Head nice and still. Hits through the line. First it was the captain, Clark, in game one. Now the vice captain standing. His authority on the team with a, a quality hundred. 
and he hits one in the air. There should be someone getting underneath it. Oh, well, uh, it might have just crossed over the rope, but there was an opportunity for Abdul Razak to catch it. Now, for all the boys and girls and everyone watching, I'm just thinking if, if I'm out there on the field myself, I want to get to the ball quick. I don't want to be still running when the ball is in the air. I should have been there early. It's got to his hands in the field. It's bounced inside. That's only four runs. That bounced inside the rope. So it's only four. Should have been there earlier. Poor preparation. Should have sprinted there quick, been stable, got underneath the ball to give himself every chance of catching that. Again, just a little technical thing, the one percenters. And there was an opportunity. He had to run quite a long way to his right. Abdul Razak did manage to get uh, the hands underneath it, but uh, somehow manages to puff it out and then uh, drops it inside the ropes. Will be signaled a four. But, uh, look where he's standing now. He's one meter inside. He comes in a few meters when he's coming in with the, the bowler, but he should be back preparing for that. He should be much, much quicker there. I know he had to cover some ground. Seven uh, balls. Well, it seems that he wants to finish it quickly. That's gone up in the air and gone over. That's uh, muscled away. Want to be onside for yet another six. Six number seven for Shane Watson. What's the world record? About 11, I think. Something like that. We'll have to ask our statistician. But if, I'm, if I could be out in the field now talking to the bowler, Shavu, this young man, he had a super job in the first ODI. He took three wickets, three for 44. He just needs to have courage and bowl that little bit slower. Just got to bowl a little bit slower, young man. Don't be scared to toss it up. You're always going to get the ball back. Just bowl a little bit slower for me, Shavu. Well, has uh, gone up in the air and way over the fielder. Another six. That's uh, number eight uh, for uh, Shane Watson. Brings up uh, the 100 partnership. My word. These are the two sixes. The first one uh, was on to the mid-wicket region. The other one hit it uh, long on way back. Brad Haddon has the record for hitting more sixes uh, for an Australian batsman in an ODI innings 10 so he's got two more to close on to him and then probably hit one more to keep the record in his name superb display of batting it certainly is it, he's just looking to hit four or six every ball he's kind of almost had enough but he clearly has the strength and stamina to once that ball hits that blade of his he's such a powerful man throwing his body weight and hands through the line of the ball it's been great hitting but still i want a wicket i'm going to bowl slower this one must come out at 73 70 kilometers my god that is a uh, three sixes in it all well he seems to be in a hurry well, in a brilliant display of batting not the best of the deliveries but if you offer him any opportunity he'll put you to the sword Superb shot into the stands. Oh my God, that's a really good bat. <laughs> this is just pressure. Nothing more, nothing less. This is pressure. You, and this is where technique really helps you as a bowler. If you've got a good technique, all you need to think about is where you're going to bowl the ball. And technique's a little bit lacking, but nerves now. Pressure. This is pressure. You should try and bowl slow, hit the top of off stump. That's what I recommend. Well, he's not stopping over. It's gone a mile. That's even a bigger one. And he uh, equals the record of most sixes being hit by an Australian batsman in one day international. Brad Haddon. Um, you've got to make it count and Ricky Ponting has been in good shape. Goes big. Decisive blow. That's a massive six. Absolutely a big monster from Watson. A lot of climbing for you there. He's gone past the field at point. Ricky Ponting would want him to come back for the second. Watson can raise his back to the gallery because he's achieved another great milestone. 150 runs in a one-day international. Of just 83 balls, it has been one cracking innings. 13 fours, 11 sixes. Australia making it look ridiculously easy. 191 for four, for one. 
and uh, the required weight is now 1.46 they need 39 from 160 balls goes big but it goes all along the ground you can see that he's uh, itching to get his uh, his world record it's all about rhythm hitting outside the field and the way he started it almost seems he's been holding his knee there but uh, well, the humidity is getting to him one long single and then he feels a little tired but Watson has absolutely plundered blossomed magnificently he goes big he's achieved the feat that is world record six six number 12 and that is fantastic hitting most sixes in an innings that record now belongs to one Shane Watson have a look at this one disappear over long on a dozen it is and Abdul Razak has been the man it's gone over and out of the field he's not quite finished in another one well this is bigger than anything that you can see smile smile Watson 13 6 just 24 required with Watson in that mood you might say four big hits well this is absolutely fantastic from Watson this one was massive bigger than the uh, other one six number 13 and this is unbelievable stuff this is one of a kind innings one of a kind knock from Watson it's been a pure pleasure watching him goes for another big one and it's another six it is great hitting from Watson he is the over That should astound you. Partnership of 154 from 100 balls. Watson 174 from just 92 balls. 14 fours and a world record 14 sixes. And that last over hit three massive ones, all in that direction. Straightish mid. I'm very pleased for Shane. You know, it's vice captain of the team, added responsibility. He bowled nice and solid, but his batting has just been so dynamic. Well, like it's Viv Richards, isn't it? It's Barry Richards, Viv Richards, ponting at his greatest. It's Tendulka. He's, he's hitting beautiful cover drives. There isn't any part of the, the ground that he hasn't struck the ball. Straight drives, big hits everywhere, cutting the ball. Nice use of the feet to the slow bowling. He's powered the ball over the boundary. He's timed the ball over the boundary. He's just been just that an incredibly gifted athlete who's just batted superbly. Yeah, another milestone for him with that uh, boundary. He moves on to 178, takes over Varanda Sewag's score of 176 against Bangladesh in the World Cup. Just keeps going on. Don't need to bother. It's gone all the way. It's just phenomenal uh, hitting uh, from uh, Shane Watson. Just three runs needed. My word. Six number 15. I bet you Razak, who's been on the receiving and wish he had made a better effort when he was 101 dropping that catch. It's almost embarrassing now. You just don't know what to do when you're out there bowling, ladies and gentlemen. You just sweet, clean hitting. Now that's live pictures here. Tremendous display of power hitting. My word. Awesome display. It was a absolutely delight uh, to be present and watch. Uh, Shane Watson uh, played this uh, phenomenal knock. Yep, Shane Watson 185 not out of 896. Brad Haddon missed out. Ricky Ponting 37 of 42. In the end, quite convincingly, 232 for one. And uh, there was one man who was uh, with the Watson, uh, Ricky Ponting. Uh, let's go down to him.